Hi everyone, welcome back to CSGO. This is part 5 of our SAP Fiori tutorial series. In the last video, we added navigation between views. Now, we are going to take it a step further by passing data from one view to another. By the end of this video, you will know how to transfer data like a username between different pages in UEFI application. First, let's add our header and footer to the second page which we have created in the last video. Let's paste the copied header part here and we need to change the ID here because the ID is repeating since the same ID is used in the first page. So let's change the ID here. Then go to the first page and copy paste the footer part here. The structure of this document is looking bad, so let's format it. Now the XML file is looking good. Let's see our output now by going and clicking on this icon and typing npm start here. This will start our server. We got our first page as the output and we are clicking on login to navigate to the second page. And we have successfully got our second page with a header and footer part. Heads to the controller.js part. So here the actual data passing will occur. Let's start by modifying our own navigate to list function to transfer the username from the home view to the list view. We will fetch the username from the input field and pass it as a parameter to the next view. Uncomment the first line to get the data from the view. Then let's clean up this by removing this alert. And we are all set. Now head to the O router and we need to add some data which need to be passed from the JavaScript to the next view. For that, pass the name as parameter, name, and the data from the username. Now the data is successfully passed to the manifest.json. Here we need to receive the data by using a pattern here. Here we should use the pattern that is slash username which is receiving in the format name. And this should be passed back to the controller again. So let's go to the controller.js and add a init function. Since the second view is using the same controller, we should get the data which is passed from the manifest.json to this controller. Let's define the router again by using variable o router and the same code which we have used in the login function. Since we got the data from the manifest.json to here, we need to check whether the pattern is matched or not. So let's add a pattern matched here. Here we are going to initialize a function on object matched which will be triggered while getting the data from the manifest.json. The next task is to initialize a model which will store the data which have been received from the view or manifest.json. So let's initialize a O model. Okay. Now we have initialized the model and now we need to use the object on object matched. Inside this function, we are going to set the data which we have received from the init function to a variable. And this variable will be passed to the view by using the set property function and there we will use it as username slash username. Done with the controller, we will go to XML part and here we will use the slash username. 
we can use the hi admin part in the header section to replace it with the username. Since we are using the NBM server, it will restart automatically on every code change. Now it will restart automatically. And let's see our output. I will type something in the username and click on login. Here you can see the username is passed from the first page and which is sent to the second page. And let's retype something different here and click on login again. Still, you can see the new username here. If you need to pass multiple parameters from one page to another, then we need to have some little adjustments here. First of all, we need to change the pattern here. We will send the password here. And going to the JavaScript page, we need to pass one more parameter and uh, password. Before that, let's uncomment this password so that we will get the password from the first screen. And we are passing the password as pass. We have passed the parameter. Need to set this parameter so that the view page can use this property. For that, go to on object matched parameter on object matched function again and add one more property password just copy paste this one and change it to password and set this password in the model or oh, change the variable name also and set this variable name by copy this and paste it again now we will set the password field here by typing password and we are going to access it by using password slash password we can freely use the password field in the second page by using slash password here we made a mistake instead of setting password in the manifest.json we typed it in our xml document so we need to cut this and paste it on our manifest.json let's finish the xml page then we will go to manifest.json and correct our mistake here instead of second text we will paste our password for that use the slash password so that it will print the password and now heads to our main manifest.json and here we need to change the pattern to pass also all set with the data now let's rerun our application by typing a name in the username and password something i will type something in the password then hit on login button here you can see the password as gino is password and the username as gino and that's it you have successfully transferred data between views in your sap fury app now you can pass data like usernames, information from one page to another, making your app more dynamic and interactive. In the next video, we will explore more advanced features. So, stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the future tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the part 6.